The MacBook Pro 16 inch continues to be one of the standard recommendations when it comes to laptops. It's fast, it's powerful, and for what you get, it's actually of a reasonable budget. But a laptop itself is not an island. What are some of the coolest accessories that I've found recently to make your MacBook Pro 16 even better? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So one of my very favorite series of videos here to make is the accessory videos. So I try to go out and I find a bunch of cool accessories that I think would help make your experience with your computer, with your laptop, with your iPad better. So let's get right to them. Now normally, I like to build a whole kit where I'll give you a battery, you know, keyboard, mouse, all that stuff. Today's not that. Today's a bunch of just stuff that I found that I was like, man, this is cool and I really wanna talk about it. And we do have a couple of follow-ups that we've had on previous videos that we're gonna bring over to the MacBook Pro 16 because I think it's gonna be really awesome. So let's start off with the MacBook itself. Now, I am a sucker. You guys, you all have convinced me. I used to be, I like having my laptops and sleeves that has zippers but you've convinced me that that's not, that is not the way. So now we are using, this is the Amazon Basics MacBook Pro 15 sleeve, but the MacBook Pro 16 actually still fits into this really nice felt sleeve. You see Amazon Basics. This sleeve is really nice, much like the one that we did with the MacBook Pro 13 last week or a couple of weeks ago. It still has a couple of little pouches here on the outside. I don't know, cause it is a little bit, the MacBook Pro 16 is a little bit bigger. You're not gonna be able to fit much in here. It is, it is kind of a snug fit and it's even snugger because of a case that we have the MacBook in right now. But I really do, uh, this, these Amazon basic felt sleeves have really started to impress me. It's just such a nice, can you feel that? Like, it's enough protection and these little like tapered edges, they provide enough protection for the MacBook Pro that I'm not afraid if I throw this into my backpack or I throw this into my briefcase, well, it's not a briefcase, it's like a satchel, Indiana Jones had one. But if I throw this in there, I'm not concerned that another thing is gonna come in and bust up my MacBook. Like it's not gonna get scratched, it's not gonna get beaten up. I highly, highly recommend some kind of sleeve and these felt non-zipper ones have been great. Again, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get too much else in there because we also have doubled the protection today. So we actually went out and we got a case for the MacBook Pro 16. Now we did have one for the MacBook Pro 13 that had little feet on it, and I think if I remember correctly, there was a model of that for the MacBook Pro 16. So this is just a standard case that I found on Amazon. It does have, you know, breathing spots here so that you can continue to get that excellent ventilation that the MacBook Pro 16 really does have. You can see you've got all the vents, you've still got the back vent back here, and it's still got some spots right here, even though there are no fans on the direct bottom of this laptop. This thing slides on really quickly. I didn't have any problems fitting it onto the laptop itself. Now, the one thing that I will say is the top is kinda not, it's like, look how easy that was to come off. So the top doesn't perfectly sit on there, but I guess that's a good thing too, where it's not gonna like damage your laptop from how hard it is on there. But it is nice, it will provide you more protection where, hopefully, I'm, just, I'm doing that with the rubber. Good cheating there, uh, cheating there, Gary. Um, but it's not gonna like, it's gonna scratch so that your computer doesn't scratch. Because if you're gonna spend this kind of money on a laptop, you don't want that thing to scratch, right? And I do like these. It also makes it just nice, I like, Okay, full disclosure, I'm a sucker for matte gray. I'm not a matte black person, but I like gray, right? So, I, man, I love how this looks. I love how this feels. It's a great little addition to the MacBook Pro 16. And another addition on this case that we haven't talked about yet, and I don't normally like, but my wife really likes these, so it comes with the case, is this little like keyboard protector. It's like a little rubber keyboard protector. It, all, it just lays right on here. I mean, it stays on well enough, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't like how it feels. I don't like how it, can you hear that? It makes the laptop sound different when you're typing on it. I don't like it, but I wanted to show it that it comes with it because I know my wife really likes these. But the next thing that I wanna show you, we've already got installed on the computer. Now, a lot of the people that I work with, because HR always has to have like, people's personal stuff up there and they always have a screen protector. So if you're trying to get like a proper, can you see that? You can't even see what's going on anymore. If you are looking to protect what's on your screen from outside eyes, you can get one of these really sweet privacy screens. So what it is, it magnetically goes on the screen. So when you're looking at it, right here, so when you're looking at it, you can see it. But even when you start turning it, like, so somebody sitting next to you may not be able to see what you're looking at on your screen. And it could be, you know, one of the things is privacy becomes bigger and bigger deal. Like, you don't want people to see, like, your login accounts. You don't want people to see your phone number. I like the thought 
of this magnetic screen protector. I was kind of nervous at first because I didn't think it was gonna stay on here too well, but it's really on there. It's a really good, and then it's just also a nice screen protector when you don't actually want to put a screen protector on there. I'm a big fan of this. It also has the benefit of, because it's a screen, it makes the glossy screen a little more matte. So as you can see, I've got my light right here. And instead of just totally reflecting everything like right back at you, it's a nice smooth and soft. It softens the light a little bit. So it should be a nicer viewing experience. I really kind of like this thing and it's, I mean, just look at it. It's really neat. I like privacy and I like protecting my personal information when I'm out and about and not showing it to, you know, the entire internet. Probably should have thought of that first. And then another thing we've got in here that's for privacy is a camera. So something I do with like my computers here at the house is I always put like a sticky note or something over the web camera if I'm not using it. Because again, the Reddit threads and the Reddit posts of people like hacking into web cameras terrifies me. So I always have something covering it. This one is just like a little sticky thing that you can install right over your webcam. And then you always have like a built-in little webcam protector. There you go. It's so easy to move in and off and you have it with you wherever you go. So if you are a little paranoid, like some of us, about your webcam maybe being turned on without your knowledge, you have a little thing on here to protect yourself, and I like it. I like it. Today's theme started off with protection. You know, protecting the MacBook, protecting yourself. But let's move on to some of the other cooler additions that we have a lot to get through still today. So the first up, and this is gonna seem kind of weird because normally on here when I bring up a mouse, it's a Bluetooth or a wireless mouse. And I'm specifically bringing on this Razer Viper Mini because I bought this for my editing rig and I've liked it so much that this is gonna be the mouse that I carry with me from now on. Like I love I love this mouse. It's super lightweight. It's crazy accurate. It has enough customizable buttons that you can get both productivity or gaming if you want to get gaming done. It's crazy lightweight. Like, I find myself like moving it by using just two fingers to pick it up. You don't really have to manhandle this mouse. It is wired, but I've been finding that I like wired as opposed to my Bluetooth. I've been having, it could be something with my studio or something with my house here, but I've been having some Bluetooth interference recently and I've had problems with my wireless mic. So I did buy a wired mouse. It comes with a high quality cable here. You don't have to worry about something going wrong with it. It is USB-A, which this is a USB-C platform, so you will need something that we're gonna talk about here in a moment, but I love, this might be one of my favorite mice of all time. I really like the Logitech MX Master 3. You've heard me talk about that all the time, but there's something nice about having a device that doesn't need charged. It's super lightweight. It's RGB, right? We love RGB. It's RGB. I love technology that just works, and this doesn't break the bank. It's not like a crazy expensive mouse. It's a, this is a good mouse. Next up is something, so the thing that irritates me most about the MacBook Pro 16 is the charger and the cable. I like that the charger is the way it is, I like that the cable's as long as it is, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to try to manage the cable and the charger all at the same time. So this is just a little device that I found that just, it puts it all in one. So it's this little plastic case that you put your charger in, but it also has cable management for this cable that you don't always want it to be as long as possible because this thing gets so crazy long. So what you can do is you bring this out and it comes with these little attachments that go on both ends of the cable. So you bring this down and you can hook it to the cable. So you never really need more than you need, right? You don't have to have this gigantic cable just flailing in the wind. You can control it and have as much as you want out. And then when you're done, you just roll it back up, hook it back in, and you are done. And you can just have your cable and your charger in one small package. This might be my favorite thing of the whole video. Like this was the thing that I was super excited to talk about because this kind of changes everything with how I'm gonna travel with the MacBook Pro 16 from now on. I hate this cable so much. I hate it. And if you do want a more traditional way to manage that cable and charger, this is from a previous accessory video, but I really like this too. It's just a little case and all it does, it just holds the charger and it holds the cable, protects them both, Make sure that you don't have to fish for it. Make sure that it's not taking up too much room somewhere else. The zipper is crazy high quality. Can you hear that? I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for well-built bags. That's why I brought it back so that you guys could see it again or your first time if this is your first accessory video. Welcome. And then another follow-up is something that we started using this. My wife likes having her computers like up and at an angle when she's working from her desk. And so that's why I started talking about these in the accessory videos. But this one is probably my favorite one of all time. It's a little travel stand that just hooks up very easily. It's got little rubber all around the bottom and all around the top so it'll stay in place. So if you're doing something like a Zoom meeting and you don't want to be looking down at your camera, you don't want your camera like looking up your nose, you can set this up in many different positions so that you can have this 
this however you want it. What I like is that this could, if you have a mouse and you have a keyboard, you set this up. You don't need an external monitor. You can set it back a little bit, have it higher up so you're not like hunched. The thing that I hate most about laptops, it's not the MacBook, it's all laptops, is being hunched over it. I don't like that. So if you have a stand like this, it gets it up and moves it back so that you can have like an actual place where you can get some real work done. But the best part about this stand that you've already seen is it's super portable. Like it fits up to just like this little thing right here and it will easily fit in a backpack. So you don't have to have one of those big metal stands that you've seen me use before that they're great and they're comfortable, but they don't really fit in my backpack. I can't really ever take them traveling with me. So I still really highly recommend this little stand. I, I love it. I wouldn't be back if I didn't like it. And then we've got a few other neat little accessories that I found. So the first one is I finally decided to try out a new kind of dongle. I do like this one because it has all of the functionality that you would normally want. USB-C that can be used for pass through charging three USB-A, SD card, micro SD card, and because it has the two USB-C ports, it fits pretty snugly on there. So it's not gonna move that much when you have it plugged in. And so you can have things like your mouse plugged right into your laptop. And because all laptops anymore, except my Razer, seem to be trying to get rid of IO because they wanna be as small and small as possible, even if taking that functionality away makes it a little harder to use, cough, cough, every laptop manufacturer, you're gonna need dongles. This one's not too bad, it's from a company called Reiku, but it doesn't matter because there's thousands of these. If you look on Amazon, you'll find these all over the place. Speaking of dongles, you may not want a full dongle just to use your mouse. So something that we found and something that I really like because these are hefty. If you know me, when I talk about tech, I like tech and accessories and gear that has heft because to me that makes it seem like it's higher quality. So these are basically just a standard USB-C to USB-A. So if you have something like this Viper Mini, you can easily convert it to USB-C and then you get it because you can plug it straight into your laptop. There you go. The RGB starts. You don't have to carry around a full dongle if all you want is mouse support. Maybe you have a Bluetooth keyboard and you just want little things. So you don't have to bring along a full dongle. And this came in a pack of two. That's why I have two of them. Here's another kind of oddball recommendation. This is more for like a creative, a video editor. If you're doing a lot of this stuff, this is a data color spider X calibrator. So what this will do is it will calibrate your monitor, whether it's your laptop monitor, if you have X external monitors because you're working from home or you're using your laptop as like a hybrid desktop thing. All monitors come calibrated from the factory, but that calibration means different things to different brands. And they're all a little bit different, especially when you watch a video like this, what I'm gonna see on my monitor is gonna be different than what you see. But the way to make that as neutral as possible is to use something that calibrates to a professional standard. And these are expensive, but you can find them on sale all the time. All you do is you plug it USB-A, it's got software, you just lay this thing, it unhooks like this, you lay it over the monitor and it takes minutes and your monitor will be calibrated and you don't have to worry that your teal and orange LUT that you bought from somebody will look too weird. I mean, it'll look weird, but at least you'll know that it looks weird on purpose and it doesn't look weird on accident. <laughs> and then the last one I do want to talk about, and this continues to be a carryover. What, we had three carryovers this time and it's the Samsung T7 solid state drive. And the more I use this thing, the more I'm impressed by it. Now you've heard me talk in the past about the T5. In fact, we're using the T5 to record to the main camera right now, but these T7s are even faster. They're smaller, they're lighter, they're about the same price, but they have even better data protection policies and features like this right here. Can you see that? It's a little fingerprint scanner. So if you're really into the whole privacy thing, remember the bulk of today's accessories had to do with protection in some way, shape or form. This will let you protect your data by installing the Samsung software onto your computer and then you just do a thumbprint to unlock the files that you have on it. That's not as important to me as I have not used that feature personally on here. What I like is that it's a faster read and write speed than the T5, meaning that you can transfer files faster and as somebody that transfers files is basically a professional job now. Being able to do that faster is super important and you don't necessarily wanna pay Apple premium for internal solid state drives. So I have a two terabyte drive on mine, which was expensive, but I got this refurbished. But if you're looking to buy one, don't necessarily buy to like, don't buy the two, three, four terabyte hard drives because Apple charges a premium for those and you can't upgrade those yourselves, but you can get an external drive that reads and writes really fast and will get you most of the way there. And that's what the Samsung T7 is. Ding! So these are all my current favorite accessories that I found 
over the past month. Maybe we will make this like a monthly thing where I search for accessories and then we talk about them. But what are some of your favorite accessories for your MacBook Pro 16 that you found over the past month? Leave me a comment below. I'd love to find out what everybody's been getting into and what cool accessories are out there because some of these I didn't know existed and they're really awesome. And heck, if you liked this video, you're like, wow, Gary, I love seeing all of these accessories, but what about the MacBook itself? Well, good news. We've got a video of the MacBook Pro 16 six months later that you can find by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.